Okay, hello everyone, welcome to Dominion League Season 40. I am Jaunts, playing PQR this morning. And, um, I believe we are ready to go. So, I'm, uh, facing a bit of an uphill battle for the remainder of this season. I need to, I need to get some wins. And for that, I should probably consider playing better. I think playing better might be uh, a reasonable, a reasonable way to get more wins. That's, um, not sure if there's a direct link there, but we'll find out. So, this board is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this board is, I'm not sure. I mean, I assume I'm opening Priest, maybe Priest Bonfire. I kind of wish I had the 3-4. Fisherman Priest would have been pretty good, I think. Um, but I'm always opening Priest here, right? I'm not opening, like, Fisherman Bonfire. I think it's always Priest. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do here. Like, I guess you can try for Groundskeepers. They're probably better than traditional money. He does get the 3-4, which is pretty nice. Um, do I Bonfire here? I guess the one issue with Bonfire is it's kind of hard to hit. It's a little hard to hit five. Am I in like a super rush to hit five? He takes the Bonfire. Um, I guess I don't, I guess I'm not like in a super duper rush to hit five here, right? Thinning some Copper seems reasonable to me. Priest can take care of the estates. I'm probably hit four again though. So like, what do I do with I hit four again? Well, I could Fisherman if I hit on turn three. Um, but it's unclear to me what I do on four on turn four. Like a Silver, I guess, is fine. Sure, we'll Bonfire. Okay, here's the four. So this is probably just a Fisherman. Hmm. Or just Bonfire. This could be Bonfire. Um... What's next turn? I'm gonna shuffle. But there's two estates and two coppers next turn. Um, well, I can always, I can guarantee myself a fisherman next turn. I'm not, I'm not like in that much of a rush though, to thin down. It's not that, that big a deal. Uh, I'm triggering the shuffle so I can, at the very least, get a fisherman again next turn. Bonfire does give me pretty good odds of seeing my priest again. Bonfire gives me fifty percent chance to find priest. I don't know. It just like doesn't do anything. Is the problem? It just doesn't do anything. I take the fisherman. All right, I hit four here. I just want to stay down there, right? Oh yeah, sorry. I saw that there were two down, two estates. Um, I think this could be another fisherman. I'd be happy about it. He has to trash a copper, which is good news for me. And I could bonfire again here. Oh, he has stuff. Hits five. Oh, that's actually. Huh, that's pretty good actually. Um, like I think imps are. Well, imps are okay here. Um, I can also. Pilgrimage is also an option. I don't think I want a Pilgrimage here. I mean, I'm shuffling again. I think, given I want... This is all going into the shuffle and probably getting drawn, so I think this is a good time to bonfire. I don't want to have another hand of a bunch of coppers in it. Um, Alright. So at this point, like, do I just start in on Groundskeepers? Like, I can start just buying groundskeepers. Um, I'm... Am I guaranteed? I think I'm guaranteed to hit groundskeeper, like, every turn from now. So let's just do that. Oh, yeah, I do, I do need, um, economy, don't I? The problem being... Well, I hit groundskeeper this turn. Hit groundskeeper again next turn. Um, I could consider a gold first.
Um, that is kind of a weird thing. Can I hit Groundskeeper? I can hit Groundskeeper again. I could use a gold. Okay, um, this is fine too. Um, that's fine. I'll take another Groundskeeper here. Uh, the gatekeeper's not really concerning me much. Okay, at this point, do I just like take a groundskeeper every turn? For a while? I only have four stop cards in my deck. Yeah. It's a very strange board. Um, I could thin a copper again. But if I'm taking groundskeeper, I don't really have any reason to thin copper. Well, I guess I could take a curse or something, or an extra copper. The question is, do I want to keep six coins on my deck? I don't think I really need to keep six coins on my deck. We can thin... Uh, he's using four here. Um, Pilgrimage is fine. I don't know why I played that. There's no real reason for it. Mm, Envious would be a little sad. I'd probably take an estate if you took Envious. Um, but he's still thinning, so... Not a problem. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's actually really bad, right? Envious, like, cost me... <laughs> um, hold on. <laughs> Does Envious cost me... What does Envious cost me here? I gotta think. <laughs> it makes it hard to hit the Groundskeeper split. Um... Actually... What if I had to kill... Hmm... Envious is a little annoying, huh? I mean, I could just, like, mill a Groundskeeper here. Um, okay, that Envious is annoying. I can't take the last Groundskeeper unless I mill a Groundskeeper. Um, is that better than just taking an Estate right now? Like, I, or a Duchy? I guess Estate. I can't take Duchy. Like, um... Hmm, that Envious is very annoying to me. Like, I take an estate. If he takes a groundskeeper, I take an estate. I have, like, a good points lead is the thing that it has going for me. Um... That groundskeeper, or that tormentor, could be very annoying. So what happens if I... How happens I mill this groundskeeper? Um, he gets first crack at the points, but I, get, I have an extra point on my deck. I think milling the groundskeeper is still the proper play here. It's not entirely clear to me, to be honest. Um, he gets first crack at the at the points, but I'll take an extra point per turn. So if this game goes more than five turns, that's the correct move, and it's going to, because it's still a single game board. So I think I have to do this. I 
This torment tormentor is going to be very annoying. Crap! Oh, that's really bad. Oh my god, he freaking locusts? <sighs> that's really bad. Alright, well, now we're 4 4 on the, uh. 4 4 on the GKs. That's quite annoying. Really? Oh, those hexes are really bad. Like, both those hexes cost me a groundskeeper. <laughs> At the. Ah! That's very annoying. Alright. Um, I'm ready to take duchies. I can build the province. I don't know if it's worthwhile. I'm only getting four points per turn now, though, instead of five points per turn. Kind of, um, kind of take something out of it. God, of course it's, of course it's freaking locusts. <laughs> That's the only way to kill a groundskeeper for me, right? Is the locusts. Um, I don't think I want to kill this copper right now. He's gonna have to actually start playing his his. Uh, priest. Before too long. Not yet, though. He can torment her again. So... I'm only overdrawn by one. Maybe I should priest the copper here. The problem with priesting the copper is I'm not going to be able to hit gold. Um, man, how does this game end? I went first, right? And he's like basically stolen the first turn from me. Man, those freaking hexes. Like the two worst hexes at the worst possible times. Um... I mean, I guess I priest the duchy. It's fine. Can I take province here. I guess I'll take province. He's gonna have to worry about draw sooner or later, but he is overdrawn by one, so he can safely t play Tormentor and still draw. Well, actually, no, he can't safely play his Tormentor and still draw a deck next turn, right? That's not a guarantee. I can't believe he locusts my groundskeeper. What a jerk. Um, I was really planning on getting, like, an extra point per turn, <laughs> but now, uh, that makes things a lot dicier. Which is interesting. So do I mill province? Sure, why not? So 
So he's still he's at exact draw now. No, he's still at one plus one draw, isn't he? Yeah, he's still at plus one draw. Haunting. Um, haunting's fine, I guess. Actually, hunting might cost me a little bit. Nope, I get there anyway. Um, he's at exact draw right now. He does get there, though. Um, he can get war. War now would be fine. Oh, he's in a priest, I think. I guess if he doesn't priest, he, um, starts running to the issue of, of not having draw. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. I do mill this province here, right? I do run into some problems. All right, what are, what are the um, what are the hexes that can prevent me from provincing? Envious is gone. War can only hit priest, but war would hit priest unless I draw my opening hand, which would be pretty bad. Um. I already saw locusts. Um, I'm overdrawn by one, so adding a curse to the deck isn't a big deal. Um, I think I just have to take the province here and hope. Like, misery doesn't do anything. Um, oh, poverty. Poverty would possibly. Oh, poverty would hurt a little bit, actually. Um, so what happens if I, okay, I think there's like two hexes in there, so there's like a 25% chance the hex stops me from doing province. Um, if I can't province, he sees I can't province, I think I have to do it anyway. He also might miss province. His um his deck has more stop cards in it now. But I think there's like still a, a decent chance I lose this game. Probably less than I think I win this more than half, but I think I can still lose it like maybe a quarter of the time I lose this game. Uh, famine is fine by me. He only has two GKs in play. I mean, I'm guaranteed to province here, so he can't province, but I'm not sure Dutchie does anything either. That's actually interesting, isn't it? I have to play you. Um, if I mill a province here, I have a bit of a problem, right? Because if he finds... He wins. If I mill province here... Um, if I mill province here, he wins, right? If he hits four groundskeepers and province. 
That's not easy for him to do. But it's not impossible. Oh, it also works if he hits, like, um... Three groundskeepers and... Or, like, two groundskeeper. Yeah, there's actually a few Huxes, because there's still the Curse Hex and Misery left. Um... So I think I just buy a duchy here and don't trash. I think this is buy duchy, don't trash. So I don't trash, if I trash I can't hit, well if I trash copper I can't hit province. If I trash province I don't want to lose the points at this stage of the game, so I'm going to take the duchy. Um, poverty right now is fine. No, it's not, actually. Poverty stops me from hitting... Poverty might stop me from hitting Province. Well, only if my Priest is bottom-decked. Otherwise, I can kill a Groundskeeper for Province if I need to. Um, actually, getting the, cur the curse right now would be fine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And kill this curse. Guaranteed. Alright, we're in the same situation as before, basically. Oh, I missed my ground other groundskeeper. Well, I'm always priesting this curse. Um. So... So the problem is Misery is still there. Misery still exists, huh? But is there anything else that can cause me to... Oh, gain Copper. The, the Copper Curse is still there. That can, that can mess me up. Um, is there any reason not to Province here? So what does he need to win if I Province? He needs to, well, he can tie, not without too much difficulty. I think I just Duchy here. Well, if I duchy, though, that gives him more time to get the bad hexes into my deck. But I can also guarantee province next turn, unless... Poverty. Or the copper? And the copper's a maybe. Poverty's also a maybe. It's still, like, mostly good to hit 8 next turn. It's a weird game. I don't understand this game. Like, if I duchy, he duchies... Well, if I duchy, um, he needs to. All right, first of all, hitting province for him isn't even easy to do. Let's just duchy. He does hit the imp though, so. It is poverty, shoot. Um, so I'm tossing the duchy for sure. Do I need to try to hit province here? Because if... I don't have to hit province here, right? Unless he provinces. But I'm also, I could be okay just hitting... I could be hit, okay just hitting duchy. I want him to see that I discard my duchy instead of my priest, right? So I discard priest first and then duchy, is that how it works? Um, and then I hit a state. I'm guaranteed to four point a state at least. Oh no, I'm not. Um, that can happen. Right. I'm gonna have a problem, like, ever hitting... <laughs> I'm gonna have a problem ever hitting, like, uh... <laughs> um, do I take a city here? <laughs> I'm gonna take a city right now. 
Kind of like City. <clears throat> um, Trash's Priest is a little annoying to me. I can't province here, and he knows it. I can't province and he knows it? That's annoying. I can double state though, which is pretty good. See what he does. If he provinces, he's taking the city. Okay. Oh, I hit. I missed the. Ah, uh, frig. All right, this got to be another city then, right? Missing city in that. It's got to be another city. Um, I can actually double province with this city here. Or sorry, I, I can just sing. I'm single provinces. The thing I care about. What a strange game. Um, very strange game. Kings of Copper is really bad. I do not want a Copper there. He misses five, though, which is really good. Such a strange game. You know, this would have been a lot different if he didn't locust my groundskeeper. This game would be so much easier if he didn't locust my groundskeeper. So like, I've got nine and three buys. I think it's city. I could also bonfire coppers. I could bonfire coppers and take a city. Um, that's completely reasonable. What are the hexes that are left? Um, I don't think anything- oh, Misery's left, but I don't think I care about Misery at this point. Like, Bonfire Copper, take a city, is completely reasonable to me. That gives me f eight coins and four buys. Um, the problem is if I do that and he takes a province, uh, it's a little annoying, right? Because then I can't province. I think I need to take at least one estate here. It could be city estate. City estate estate's even fine. I have one card of overdraw. Let's take this. That's not bonfire this turn. I don't want a fisherman, right? Nah, not really. 10 coins. I could do like Fisherman City Estate. I don't know. I'll take the city for sure. I don't think I want the Fisherman. I at least want at least one estate and I guess a second estate. I am drawing, assuming I find some cities, though I might not find cities. I could take like a Vagrant just to be, just to be safe. Maybe Vagrant's fine, just... Or um, probably Patrician hits more. I don't know, Patrician hits better. Or does it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Patrician is a lot better. Um, I can take four estates next turn. Or I can province estate if I hit that. I just need to not dud next turn, right? So I think Patrician is the play. I just need to not dud here. He does get the four groundskeepers out. Oh, he's drawing really good. Miserable, I don't think, is enough to stop me. 
And as long as I find a city here, I think I win. Mm. Of course, I could just dud. Dudding is definitely possible. If I dud here, I'm going to be so mad. I feel like I've lost a lot of games to dudding this, this uh, season. Maybe I should have bonfire just to make things a lot more certain. What hexes are left? Nothing that can mess up my deck, right? Famine? No, we saw Famine. Oh, well, the one that topped has coppers, actually. That one, um... That one could definitely be annoying. Alright, please don't dud. Oh my god, if I dud, I'm gonna be so freaking mad. I mean, how many dead, how many junk cards do I have in my deck? One, two, three, four, five, like six stop cards or something? Yeah, I have a number of stop cards. I found three of them at the top of the shuffle, which is just really bad. I just need to find a city. If I find one city, I'm probably okay. If I find zero cities, I think I lose this game. Well, then again, his deck is pretty junky too. He does get the priest thing though. Which helps a lot. Losing my priest definitely hurt. Losing the priest hurt quite a bit, actually. Does he do like province estate and just place for a dud? That's totally reasonable. I can beat province estate, but I could also just not draw. He has no copper, right? 12. I think he's one copper. Is that right? So I have two and there's one extra gone? Yeah, he has one copper left. Um, he has one estate also, he can trash. He can trash an estate. Please don't dud here, please don't dud here, please don't dud here. I've got three cities that Patrician hopefully draws. I have four more cantrips down there. Five more cantrips down there for Kang Patrician. Plus the cities. Like, given a random shuffle, I think I'm not super likely to dud, but given this particular shuffle, it's looking scary. I think he has to, like, province estate here. Possibly even just province, actually. Maybe just province is better than province estate. Like, province patrician, maybe? Um, province patrician is probably better than province estate if he's playing for a dud, and if you're taking province, you are playing for a dud. He's taking two cities. I'm not sure about that. City... Fisherman, Patrician, hits the duchy. Oh, yes, Patrician. Patrician. Doing it. Okay, um. So, I could play four states. Four states is an option. I could take province estate. Province estate loses the province double estate, I think. Right? Do I, like, dare him to take province double estate? The problem is if I take four estates here, I'm like, I'm not drawing anymore. I'm just kind of done. Um, four estates also loses the province double estate, doesn't it? Um, he can't cost me any points with these hexes. It's a really weird spot to be in. Um, piles are very low. And he can province... I think if he, he has to draw... 
pretty well to hit province double estate. I feel like I could just estate, right? If I just took estate. Well, I'm, I'm always taking at least one estate here, right? I'm, not, I'm never taking a fisherman here. So I'm always taking at least one estate. Um, he has four gains. So here's the thing, one of those hexes top decks two coppers, which is really bad, which it wants me to kind of bonfire the coppers right now. Um, I wonder if bonfire coppers by city is reasonable. He can't beat that this turn. Um, he can't beat that this turn. God, this is a really long game. Jeez. Like, he cannot beat that this turn, because the best he can do is get five points. He can't do better than five points, I don't think. Um, Bonfire Coppers by City seems completely reasonable to me. The only problem is it doesn't let me province estate. So if he, like, province... Well, then I can still take... What if he does province double estate? Does, does just province beat that? Because I can't... I wouldn't be able to province... Um, if, he did pro, if he did province double estate. Right, what does that do? Province... A state, a state does require me to province and a state, which is pretty dicey. Um, the other option, I don't want to leave him a win though. So either province here, which loses the province, a state, a state, or a bonfire city. I think I play the city, the city line here, and just don't dud next turn. Um, but I can only trash one copper. I can't trash two coppers. Because <clears throat> if I trash two coppers, um, I do lose to... It costs like a patrician. Patrician might be better than trashing copper. I'm still really nervous about the double copper top deck. I think I trash one copper, and that gives me the ability to beat province of state of state. Wait, does a state of state of state beat province of state of state? Um, oh my god, alright. Province of state of state, state of state of state. The only difference there is he has a province to my state, which is a six points difference. Um, which would cause me to lose the game. So I just crashed one copper to leave me the option of doing province of state next turn. He's gonna draw here, isn't he? All right. And dilute is the one that does not hurt. So last one is unless I like miscounted the boons. I forgot, what is that one called? Not greed. It's um. <laughs> top decks of copper. Okay, I don't know what it's called, but it definitely hasn't been in the log because the word top deck doesn't appear. It doesn't appear. Um, it looks like he's not drawing on, which means he doesn't have more groundskeepers in play, which is really good. Well, he's thinking, though, which might mean he might have a priest in hand, at least. Um, oh yeah, also keeping 10 coins does give me the opportunity to do 5 estates as well. What's the other? That was like in the back of my mind, but I, didn't, I don't think I said it out loud. <clears throat> um, 10 coins was important to keep around. Alright, yeah, he, like, he has to do that. Uh, let's just not dud here. Please don't dud. Okay, I think that means we're good. And good, okay. 
Uh, that should be five pro estates. Oh wait, I had a pro no, never mind. Sorry, I had I had five. Sorry, I, I could just province. I had five estates in my mind for winning there. Um, who boy, that was a that was a pretty interesting game. Um, it came down really close at the end there. Um, I think it would have been a lot less close if he didn't trash my freaking ground. He made me he cost me two groundskeepers with his two hexes at very inopportune times. So if that didn't happen, like I think I win that game by a by a comfortable margin. But whew, that got really dicey really fast, huh? Um, hey, bonfire's back. I mean, you're always opening Remake Bonfire here, right? Like, I can't imagine not opening Remake Bonfire on this board. And we're just gonna play with the Black Market. I guess Remake Lookout... Remake Lookout is... kind of interesting, but I think Bonfire is just better there. Um, ah, dang, I drew the... the one thing you're not allowed to draw on this board. This is the one thing you're not allowed to do on this board. Oh man, that's really bad. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, that's so, 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 so bad. That's the one thing. All right, well, what are you gonna do? Um, I think Harold's fine there. I, w I think you want villages, like, so Harold is what you want. Um, he's ahead for sure. I'll take the black market now, kill that. All right, I'll trash. I guess I could take silvers here. I don't think I want a second black market. Um, yeah, he's definitely ahead of me. Take a silver. Trash you for... Could be a lookout. I don't think lookout is better than... Could be, actually, could be second black market. Let me think for a second. Um, second black market's a little dicey. It's a lot of terminals in my deck. Nah, that's too dicey. Let's not do it. Um, oh, he does herald a remake, which I think is really nice for him, right? That's a really nice draw. Thornum's really good, too. Jesus. All right, well, I'm in a bit of trouble right now. I need to get some good pulls from this black market. I need a, just a village. I'll say just a, a humble village is fine by me. Humble village. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, those... I guess quarry's pretty good. Um, I think I just take a quarry, right? Um, I could also take, like, I could also just bonfire here. No, we'll take the, I think we'll take the quarry. It's not that good. It's actually not that good, is it? I think I'd rather bonfire this turn than take a quarry. Like, what is, I don't know, it does, like, a bunch of stuff, but there's no buys currently. So I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of quarry. And killing two copper is pretty sweet. We're just gonna bonfire a couple coppers. Um, this is not what I was hoping for. This game looks like <laughs> this is in really bad shape right now. I hate games like this where I feel like I just like lose purely off draws. Like really early too. Like that that cardinal is really mean. It's a really mean cardinal. Um I mean I have to just kill two copper here. And buy like a silver. Yeah, like look, his. Oh man, like now we're exiling silver. Fine. <sighs> Shoot. Oh, he gets a royal carriage too. Jesus Christ. Oh, he gets the royal carriage as well. That's really good. Um. Yeah, this is this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, on the plus side, he can't exile, um, well, if I don't buy anything, he can't exile. <laughs> I think I'm lost, right? This looks completely lost at this point. I don't know. There could be outposts. There could be goons. There could be king's court. I can't buy king's court this turn, actually. Um, there could be outpost. This is, this is not going very well, though. All right. Black market hits, some. Um, really? This is what I get? This, this is what I get. 
Okay, sure. I don't. What am I doing? <laughs> this is so dumb. And like, there's. I can't transition to like money because he just crushes me every which way. Do I take a gold? What the heck do I do here? <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna take a gold, I guess. Oh god, he's gonna exile my black market. <laughs> Black market. Oh no, he doesn't do it. Oh, thank God. Oh man. <laughs> Can you imagine if he exiled Black Market there? Oh, he gets the key. It's another village. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what is this game? Are you kidding me? All right, I'm not gonna resign yet because Black Market can do Black Market stuff still. But jeez. This is just dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> Can I get a village? I want a village. Doesn't matter, if I get a village, he's gonna exile it anyway. <laughs> what? Why are these my cards? Why are these the cards I get? <laughs> these are so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take... What? What am I gonna take here? Am I playing money on this board? I'm gonna take a harem and a second black market. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> uh, I only took the harem because I want him to exile it. Oh cool, we can exile the remake. And bottom card's a black market, so I'll just leave it there. How do I do anything on this board? Can I just like keep fishing for outposts? Let's just keep fishing for outposts. I'm not even sure outposts is enough to save me. Like, if I don't find villages, I can't do anything. Like, cool. Like, this is it again? All right, cool. I guess we're taking pawn. And, um, <laughs> I have no villages. I can't do anything. Um, I could take an IGG and give him a curse that he's just gonna trash. Like, I don't- I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, do I just- do I just- do I legitimately just play money on this board? No, like, everything loses. There is no winning this board. Alright, whatever, taking their gold. Oh, back markets, don't collide. Like, eh, caravan's okay. I'd probably take a caravan. Uh, sculptors. Sculptors not, that, not even that good here, actually. I'm not sure I take a sculptor. Oh god, <laughs> this is so dumb. I mean, I guess sculptors better than like the other fives, so there's that at least. Um, nope, more no more villages. I guess I take a market. Sure. Um. <laughs> I don't want any of this stuff. It's like a pilgrimage. Jeez. What am I gonna do? Is that I'm, I'm not gonna resign until I know I don't have outpost. That's what I'm not, I'm not doing that. We'll get through the black market back and then I'll resign. Villages sure would be nice, I have to say. Would not mind a village. Um, I mean, you sculpt a silver here, like, you're not sculpting. Well, you could sculpt Black Market, that's fine, too. Um, Conk oh, cool, he gets another village. That's so super cool. How cool is that? How cool is it that he gets all the villages? That's just so, so neat. 
Um, could take Gold Witch, why not? Sure. <laughs> I can't trash anymore, he exiled my remake. Um, right, we're gonna exile the Black Market. Mmm, <laughs> I'm tempted to, to, re to resign early, but I still want to see the rest of the Black Market. There's things in there that can do stuff. Um, top deck's a silver, so I, I don't get a black market this turn. <laughs> How did I not? I have two black markets on my deck. How did I not draw one? Okay, card buy, I guess. <laughs> cool. How, how do you miss a black market with two in your deck? <laughs> um, I don't know. What am I doing? I'm playing money now, right? I'm just playing money. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna take... A pilgrimage? And a province. We're playing money. <laughs> sure. Why wouldn't we play money? I can't think of a good reason not to. Um okay now I'm now that that's basically resigning, right? What I just did? But like I don't what was I supposed to do? That's not resigning on this board. Every literally everything is resigning. I guess resigning faster is what I should have done. All right, let's let's we'll see the rest of the black market deck soon. I think. Oh no, no, I'm not playing black market every turn. He needs a second black market, I think. If I was him, I would definitely want a second black market. What's he? Re oh, yes, he he's forced to remake. Yeah, that remake's a little dicey. You wouldn't mind getting rid of it somehow. Maybe he's forced to remake all of his good cards. Taking more remakes is a little spicy. I'm not sure I'd do that. I'd probably take like navigators over the remakes, because I don't want to herald remakes if I can help it. Alright, there's a ghost ship, so that's exciting. <laughs> I mean you take ghost ship there very quickly. Like it's not even a thought. Ghost ship is brutal right here. Ghost Ship is absolutely brutal. It reduces my chances of winning from zero all the way down to zero. <laughs> um, I can probably pass all that. All right, I think um, I think we're just done here, right? I think we're just we're just gonna be done. It's fine. Not even outpost saves me anymore. Like that's not even outpost saves me on that one. <laughs> Alright, so that's one of those games where I'm just going to say, like, I just, like, never win, right? Like, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I never, like, none of my decisions literally mattered the entire game. Ooh, Transport. Transport Recruiter sounds pretty solid as an open, right? Oh, 5-2. Um, isn't the 5-2 just worse than the 3-4? The 5 is just worse than the 3-4, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty sure it is. Okay. That's not great. I wouldn't mind the 5-2... Right, because transport top decks, right? Yeah, so that's, like, strictly worse. Cool. Great. It's great when you don't want to open 5-2 on a recruiter board. That's very exciting to me. Hopefully I don't miss my recruiter. God! God! Ah! I just, um, I hate everything. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna transport... I don't know what I'm transporting. I'm transporting something, right? I don't want a silver. I didn't even hit four. Like, hitting four there would've been pretty good. Yeah, it's like strictly worse. I miss my frickin' recruiter and he gets an extra trash in. That's so bad. Um, I don't want a second recruiter here. I could take a captain. Captain's like... It's not a very good captain, I have to say. How do you feel about upgrade? How do you feel about silver? Maybe silver is just fine. I think silver is actually just fine here. I think silver is fine here. Okay, so my recruiter misses a shuffle. 
It will hit a state at least, but that's annoying. Stupid 5-2 on a recruiter board. And he hits 5? And he upgrades in the sh Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me right now? I think it's upgrade. Like, I'm pretty sure it's upgrade. Oh, he hits 5? Oh, that's such a good draw. Jeez. Like, I want to upgrade for the coppers. I don't want to recruit my coppers if I can help it. I know recruit some, but I guess Scepter's also fine. Maybe Scepter's better than Upgrade. Mmm. That's reasonable. I don't think Second Recruiter is the play here. I missed five here, so that's not great. Uh, this is probably a Transmog, though. Okay, I actually do hit five here. Um. I'm considering Upgrade over Second Recruiter, right? Scepter is also reasonable. Upgrade's just better at dealing with copper. Well, it's not even that much better, though. How much terminal space do I actually need on this board? Not that much. Still, I think Upgrade's about comparable to Recruiter here. Alright, hit 5 again. Maybe take a Scepter now? Scepter has a lot of uses. Uh, he gets... Oh my... Are you kidding me? <laughs> He just found both the states with those two recruiters, and he's shuffling again? Wait, didn't he only have one card? He just- yeah, he had four- he just drew- oh my goodness, he just topped like the recruiter on that shuffle. Oh, he drew- mm. <laughs> His draws are perfect. Absolutely perfect draws. Um, I don't think I want- I want a Deceptor first, so I can replay some of these actions. I, Idol's also fine. Oh, his draws are so good. Um, what about Devil's Workshop? Devil's Workshop's a little interesting. I think I'd rather... I don't know. Like, I want imps, don't I? I think I want imps. Building here is really hard, though. There's no plus buy. Other than, like, the occasional idol. Yeah, building here is just really hard. I don't think you can do it very well. So I think it's money... Um, idols are okay. They're not super great. They're okay. Scepter's okay. Oh, I, I don't know. I'll take the idol, I guess. It's not. Oh, if, oh, don't miss my recruiter, please. Don't miss it. I don't. Don't make me miss my recruiter. <laughs> I, I bottom decked recruiter and transmog. Okay, sure. I'll just bottom deck recruiter and transmog. That's no big deal. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> this game is really bad. <laughs> this game is so bad. Um, I think I could take a second transmog. What am I transmogging? I don't know. Probably something useful at some point this game. Well, there's some advantage to silver. Uh, palace points is the advantage. All right, I'll take another transmog. Who boy, this game. <laughs> This game is something else, huh? He gets his recruiters again. Oh, he actually missed recruiters last turn, so I guess that's a thing. He missed his hunting round, so at least he didn't draw literally everything every turn. I can trash you. Um, four coins again. Is gonna be... Um... I mean, I could take a throne room... What's my outs here? Like transmog hunting round stuff? Maybe take a devil's workshop? Maybe I, I can't build that well? I guess if you mill hunting grounds, you gain a duchy off of it, and that's like an extra card to play with. Like, I think you gotta play with a little bit on this board. I'll take a devil's workshop. Are you kidding me? Did I miss- I missed both? I missed both my recruiter and upgrade this shuffle? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to do here. Okay, um... Like, this idol has to be a hunting grounds, right? Like, I, ha I have to draw. I can't not draw here, right? <laughs> I don't... What? This is so dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> I 
This is just insane to me. All right. This idol is going to be hunting grounds. Um... The other consideration is silver to throne room. I could just like throw in this hunting grounds. I could also not throw the hunting grounds. It's probably better. That's all. That seems fine. I can turn you into a throne room. Just play you. Um, we're gonna upgrade the copper. Throw in the recruiter for a trash and a trash. Jeez. Um. I could take a captain. It's just captain as throne room, but captain as throne room's solid. The problem here is this board is just not doing exciting things to me. Get a throne room imps at least. I think captain's fine. Um, do I imp the throne room or throw in the imp? I don't know. Um, I need to make sure I gain another imp this turn, right? Um, I don't know, gain more, like, transmogs off, off DW is also fine. I guess I wouldn't mind trashing more, which means I should probably imp the throne. And then throw in the upgrade seems fine. I don't know how to win this game. This is just... oof. I don't know if I'm doing this any good. It's probably not. I need to I need to double trash this turn though. Or triple trash this turn if I can. So I will th I will play in first. Um we'll go ahead and do that. I can throw in the upgrade. Trash copper. Um, I could kill the recruiter into something useful. And uh, no, I want to draw here, right? This is a little dicey. This captain here is not being helpful, is it? Um, I could actually kill the the workshop also. No, I need more imps in this deck. Maybe it is recruiter. But then, what do I captain? <laughs> Um, that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. Um, maybe I do just trash the DW. I really want more imps, though. I can get one back, right? I can get, I have a silver in my deck still. I do have a silver in my deck still, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll get one back. So we'll just trash you into a, um... Um, I don't know. What are we trashing you into? Like a second upgrade? I'm gonna get curses. Not that many curses, though. It could be a scepter. Um, scepter has some benefits. It's not that exciting, actually. The recruiter's fine. The upgrade's fine. I think maybe it's scepter. Um, do I... Th I guess I'm going to... I guess I'm going to throw in this recruiter. Trash you. Cool, I get to play you. Um, and I end the turn? Missing hunting grounds there kind of hurts. Okay, so we have the captain as a throne room on... Oh, wait, hold on. Can I, can I undo that? Can I undo that? Sorry, um, what's the order here? Transmog, hunting grounds, gaining a duchy into hunting grounds. Captain as a throne room on the hunting grounds. 
and then transmog the I really really want I don't do I, how much do I need an imp this turn not that bad um I can keep the scepter around to replay something I'm gonna trash the duchy into could be another captain could be devil's workshop now could even be transmog to get a transmog down on the mat no I kind of want to upgrade maybe just devil's workshop actually okay so I get to throne the upgrade trashing you Silver to transmog. Um, let's me put a transmog on the map this turn. I get to recruit this. Play you. End actions. You. Take two coins and pick up a... Um, another transmog is fine. That's a lot of transmogs. It's probably fine. Your throne room's fine too. Um, I have two on the mat. Let's take one more transmog. And we'll get another imp. Uh, I don't know how I win this. Like, how do I score enough points in this game? I'm, that's what I'm not entirely sure about. <laughs> I guess distant lands. I get like a bunch off distant lands. Oh boy. This has just been a friggin' uphill battle the entire game. Um, I'm going to turn the scepter into hunting grounds, I think, right? Call transmog. You are a hunting grounds. Get to play an imp on... Um, I guess I play the captain. Do I? Captain as a throne room playing um, I mean could take the throne room here or the hunting grounds throne I don't need to throw in the hunting grounds though so let's just play the imp twice um, first time on the hunting grounds second time on this throne room well Yeah, right, so a second I'm in the throne room, because I want to play the upgrade twice to turn Recruiter into... Um, do I need money this turn? I might need money this turn. Into a gold. Trashing you. Play these on the mat. End actions. Um, do I need to start scoring? Like, do I need to take a distant lands here? I might need to take a distant lands here. Take one more imp. So I have three transmogs down. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all these duchies. been a very very slow match um and it's partly my fault at least but it's definitely been slow and i had to stop at like one o'clock so or maybe like even a little bit before one o'clock so i might not be able to finish this match if these games continue this long and this game here is also gonna be long isn't it that silver is really nice for him 
Um, geez, how do I score here? All right. So I'm at least killing you. King Duchy into you. Could I get a second upgrade, actually? Is second upgrade reasonable here? No, because I, I need I need um I need the hunting grounds to throw this turn. Alright, we'll trash you, gain duchy into you. Let's call a captain now. As a throne room on the hunting grounds. And maybe I don't transmog this turn. Or I do. I could turn this a devil's workshop into a recruiter, which is fine. Or no, sorry, um an upgrade. Is it upgrade or is it distant lands? Maybe it's distant lands. <clears throat> no, I think it's upgrade. I need to deal with like curses and crap. All right, we get to imp. That can go down. We get to imp the throne room playing the upgrade. I want at least one captain here. And I guess we trashed the duchy into... could be another captain. I don't think I need more captains, though. Another hunting grounds is fine, too. Just make sure I get hunting grounds. It could be imp, actually. Imp to silver is not unreasonable. Um, hmm. I mean, it scores points. I think... No, I want, I want three imps here. I can worry about that later. Uh, I mean, alright. Trash duchy into... Could also be gold. Maybe it's another gold. I can't province, can I? Like, does provincing lose? I can upgrade, I can get some points off palace. Um, I have the issue where I can't really get more distant lands down very well, unfortunately. But if I take a gold here, that might be fine. I'm gonna need to score somehow. Palace will score some points for sure. Um, if I find a hunting grounds, I can definitely get like a bunch of stuff off of that. Let's take a gold. And then I will upgrade. Am I throwing this upgrade? Only if I want to kill copper. I don't want to kill copper. So let's just upgrade the... Hopper, captain as a throne room, sure. Um, so now the question is, do I take province? Like, I need him to miss province at least once. So let's assume I get three of these provinces, right? He's not going to hit province every turn, is he? Well, he can mill provinces too, though. <sighs> Man, his transmog's going to do a lot of work. I think I do need to score here, though. Um... Of course, Distant Lands is definitely an option. Alright, let's say I only get two of these provinces. That puts me at 12, 16 points. I can try to get a couple duchies out of the, out of the deal as well. I think I have to province and hope for what? What am I hoping for? 16, I can score! Like, I only have one transmog down right now, which is kind of dicey for me. Because he, he's going to end the game in like, in, like, two turns. I might only get one of these provinces. There's no way I win with one province. I have to province now. And I, it's not great here. Okay, he's doing his transmog to hunting grounds, which is actually really nice, which means he can't mill a province, which gives me an extra turn to play with. Um, the downside is I didn't draw hunting grounds in this hand here. Um, I have no idea how I win this game. I'm trying my best to, to make this an actual win, but jeez. This is, a, this is a pretty fun board that I wish I didn't just, like, whiff so utterly in the early game. How 
do I do this? I mean, I could get an extra distant lands out. Um, I could turn this upgrade into a hunting grounds, which is fine. I can turn this throne room into something too. I gotta be careful. All right, he provinces here. Um, he has no transmog down though, so he can't double province. So okay, let's say we split these provinces. I need to make up 23 points? <laughs> okay, how do you make up 23 points here? I have no idea how you make up 23 points here. Unless I have to pray for both these provinces. So let's say, I upgrade two imps into silvers. That scores six. Um, I kill three hunting grounds at some point here. That scores nine. Um, I get one more distance lands down. So we're up to 15. That's 19. I don't need another distant lands. I guess I could upgrade a transmog to distant lands. All right, there's a little play here left. Um, the problem is this current turn is really bad because I didn't draw hunting grounds. So I think I have to turn upgrade into hunting grounds here. I think I have to turn upgrade to hunting grounds. Um, and we're in the throne room. Let's not, let's call on just the throne room. So I'm probably gonna upgrade this throne room this turn. Okay. So I get to play these transmogs. Um, I get to imp. There's that upgrade. Could not play. I could throw in the upgrade here. Um, I could throw in the upgrade here. Do I, do, all right, I guess the question is, do I need both of these provinces or not? Um, I mean, he might miss. I have a bunch of hunting grounds, though. I can score, like, a bunch of duchy points. I don't think I need both these provinces. I just need to draw a hunting grounds on, the, on my next turn. All right, so let's not play this. I'm going to captain throne room on the upgrade. Trash this throne room into a distant lands. Or do I want an upgrade? Maybe it's upgrade. Could be upgrade, actually. I actually maybe didn't want to play all my transmogs. No, I, I did, actually. Um, I could take an upgrade silver. Or I could kill his hunting grounds into a duchy. I can draw, and then I can upgrade the duchy into a hunting grounds. No, I do need this distant lands, don't I? I probably need this distant lands down. Um... count. If I play the distant lands next turn, I play, I play one distant lands. When I'm buying this turn, I'm not buying province, right? Like, I'm not going to risk that. I don't, or do I need province or not? Jeez, this is so much math. Um, let's assume, for sake of argument, I don't whiff completely on the hunting grounds. I can get two duchies next turn. Uh, I can upgrade a transmog into a duchy or distant lands. Um... I have the captain. So let's see. This scores. You know, if you trade provinces, I'm, I'm lacking 23 points. So two distant lands. Um, two distant lands gets me eight. Two silvers, if I do it that way. No, I can't get two silvers because I'm short an upgrade. Do I need this other upgrade? I might actually need the other upgrade right now.
And then next turn I do what? No, it doesn't do anything for me. Alright, it's gotta be distant lands here. Um It's the imp to silver here. I get this down on my mat. My end action's there. And now Is it distant lands or do, do I need this do I need both provinces? This is the question. Um I guess I can always like mill a province if he doesn't province. So this might just be distant lands. Ah frig, I missed it. Hold on, I didn't miss it yet. I can hold on, I didn't, I didn't miss it yet. I might miss I might have missed it though. Um, I really, really, really needed to find hunting grounds there. Like, really bad. Um, missing hunting grounds here is kind of like losing, right? Alright, I have, um... Well, three of those ten cards are hunting grounds. I really needed to find a hunting grounds here. Really bad need to find a hunting grounds. Okay, I, have to, I mean, obviously I'm throwing the I'm throwing the, the imp here. So like, I'm going to find hunting grounds, right? That's like pretty likely. It's like fairly likely I find hunting grounds. He doesn't have to province, actually, if he doesn't want to. If he gets, like, the transmog down... Well, he has to province if he doesn't have transmog. If he has transmog, he can weigh some options. Um, transmog does let him weigh some options. I win this game it's gonna be like it's gonna feel good it's gonna feel good if i win this game i don't think i don't know it's seemingly like really close right now like am i 50 percent to win i have no idea i mean presumably if he had transmog he's playing transmog so he must have missed his transmog which is really 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 good for me I'm drawing four cards. So I just need to find a hunting grounds in four cards. He's in a duchy, huh? That's interesting. Um, well, I can maybe just win here then, right? If I find a province, do I have a province? I do. So we're gonna captain as throne room on this imp. We have to play the distant lands. I don't find a province. Um, not finding province is a bit rough, isn't it? Not finding province, oh, not finding upgrade either is kind of rough. Okay, let's consider. Yeah, if I found the province there, that would've been super good. Well, the thing is I don't, he doesn't have transmog down, right? So he can't double province here. So I don't have to pop this turn. I can try popping next turn. Um, I have another turn to work with. So, what do I do? If I have another turn to work with, I don't have to mill my hunting rounds right now. Um, yeah, I don't have to mill hunting rounds. I have, what are my options here? I can upgrade. I mean, I could just, like, upgrade it. I could leave three transmogs on the map. I could upgrade a transmog to distant lands. Um, I 
Like that gives me some some good stuff to do. Oh, hold on. This is wait, 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 wait. This is still my um. This is still my 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 captain. Never mind. I can just play this. I can just play this hunting grounds. Oh sh! I bought him. Both of them. Both of them. Oh, son of a bitch. Both of them, really? Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> um, I bought him like both of them. All right, can I win anyway? Let me think. I win anyway. Um, like, is it possible to win anyway? We have three transmogs. Hold on, this might work still. Bought him like both of them was stupid. Um. Like, I can turn captain to hunting grounds, hunting grounds to hunting grounds, province to province, right? Let's say, let's say I do that. Um, I get the opportunity to upgrade transmog into distant lands. I won't be able to throw in the upgrade, though, so I don't get the extra silver off of you. So how many points does that score me? Let's say captain to hunting grounds, hunting grounds to hunting grounds. The problem there, though, is I don't get to trash the other hunting grounds either, which is kind of annoying. So I have some other options. Maybe I need to keep the captain because I want to play it as throne room, and I could just kill the gold instead. Um, the problem is if I kill gold, I can't... No, if I kill gold, then I can't... Um, I can't province, and killing silver costs me points. Um, so let me think here for a second. So let's say I go province to province. Um, I still need to make up, what, 12 points? So how many, how many duchies is that? Could also just upgrade captain to distant lands. I need to score point. I need the money though, so I can't kill a gold. That's actually really unfortunate because killing a gold here would be really good. Um, all right, let's say you go province to province, um, transmog to distant lands, captain to distant lands. Right, that scores eight, and I get one province. This has to be a win here, right? Captain to DL, and I'm gonna draw. Because I can imp, play a hunting grounds. Um, play hunting grounds. If I'll draw everything up. I get to upgrade one hunting grounds. Actually, isn't upgrading upgrading imp is just better than upgrading hunting grounds? It's, it's three points either way. Um, upgrading a hunting grounds. So let me just count here. I'll score six off the province by puts me at twenty seven. I get two distant lands, which puts me. Oh, this is like easy, right? I have the actions for this, don't I? I get to imp. It only takes three turn balls, right? So I get to imp the upgrade in you to gain a duchy. I get to play these two. End actions, province. Holy crap, I won that game. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. That was something. That was that was something for sure. Uh, I just need to get a drink because I'm like parched.
Um, yes, edit table. That was his first turn, right? No, wait, that was my first turn. Right? Yes. Oh boy, all right, exciting. This is a long match. Um, a lot of that's my fault because I did play that last board really slow, but I also needed to like spend a lot of time thinking about how you possibly win that board. <laughs> Um, it's a pretty neat board. I like boards like that, where you can do some pretty crazy shenanigans. Like, there's no there's no extra gains. Oh, except, you know, milling hunting grounds is your only plus game. Um, I guess Devil's Workshop's a plus game, too. But there's only so many four-cost cards you want. Hey, 5-2 on an actually good spot, as opposed to a terrible spot like last time. Not terrible. It wasn't, like... It's not terrible to hit 5-2 on the last board. It's just strictly worse. Um, I think this is a Sculptor, right? Mm. There's some... Like, the Livery has some um, nice features to it. Mostly, like, you can use Livery to top deck horses. So, like, Livery... If you hit 6 off of it, and it does give you 3 coins, so it's not unlikely to hit 6. Uh, and you can top deck, like, Bounty Hunter Horse or something, which is pretty high upside. On the other hand... Um, Sculptor is really good at picking up these Heralds, and I, you definitely want Heralds in this board. Um, and Dupes. Dupes are also pretty good here. So I think it's Sculptor. I'm going to guess it's Sculptor here over Livery. The Livery is pretty tempting, actually. But I think it's just Sculptor. Displace is kind of neat, too. I think Displace later, though. I can worry about turning, like, estates into stuff later. I think it's just Sculptor. Um... Okay, three isn't exciting here. I guess that's just a Harbinger. Um, okay, this is interesting. I could sculpt a silver here. I could sculpt a silver and then top deck a bounty hunter, which is okay. Um, I could also just take like bounty hunter herald, and that's also fine. It seems a little bit better, actually. I don't think I really care about the top deck there. I don't really want silver in this deck, so I'll just, we'll just do it like this. Um, this might be livery. I think the livery is pretty good here. Um, hey, I, I think it's livery. I have two non-terminals, but I don't think that's a huge issue for me. Um, I guess the other benefit to silver is just the villager is kind of nice to have with all the stuff hanging around here. Um, being able to sculptor and then play that thing is a definite benefit, but I think just stacking heralds and stuff is fine too. I'm going to say it's livery. Horses seem pretty good here. Um, okay, now I need to consider. I think I just top deck the Bounty Hunter here. Um, I mean, I could top deck Livery. No, Livery's better, right? Is it? I don't know. What's better? Livery or, oh, livery or um, Bounty Hunter? Uh, let's try to draw off this. Okay. Um... Livery puts me at, there's one, two estates, at least seven. So I can actually play, like, I think it's Livery over Bounty Hunter here. Oh, I did miss the thing I cared about. Oh, no, I only hit six. Well, I can still Traveling Fair and, like, top deck, top deck the horse there. Um, hitting Sculptor there would have been... Swell, I have to say. Sculptor missing shuffles isn't my favorite thing, but it's fine. Um, okay. Okay, well, that's not the best draw. I'll just take two heralds. 
Um, and here I top deck. Do I top deck a sculptor here? He might take boat. No, he doesn't have a tower man, right? Yeah, I, I'll take a top deck a sculptor. I want to make sure I get some heralds. Um, and by some heralds, I mean all the heralds. So we do top deck sculptor here. Play you and hit livery? Nope. Well, fine. Oh wait, should I have um exiled something else? No, it's fine. I could have sculpted a silver. Nah, it's fine. Um I don't think duplicate's bad or anything. I could take a dupe. I could also take a harbinger. Harbinger's fine here too. Man, I really wish these heralds would hit. That'd be pretty swell. Um second bounty hunter. Is that a May? No, oh, that's a that's a forced action. Um what does dupe get me? Like, more liveries? I think dupe's fine. It would have been really great to find this livery. Or these heralds need to hit at some point. I just want them to hit at some point. That's all I really want. At some point, heralds can hit. They have to hit sooner or later, don't they? I only have five non-actions in my deck, I believe. No, sorry, eight. That's what I meant to say. Um, 10 minus two is eight, not five, obviously. Uh, he's a bit ahead of me, I think, though. He's definitely, oh my goodness, that's really nice. Come on, hit, come on, guys, you're killing me here. Can I just get, like, one of these stupid heralds to ever hit? Oh, well, that's fine. Um, I think you don't province yet. You could enclave here. I don't think it's enclave. I think you just want, like, a displace. Um, enclave is actually pretty interesting with displace, isn't it? Oh, enclave is quite interesting with displace. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Um, okay, that one hits. That one misses. Now I have to play you. Okay, that didn't work out very well, huh? I don't know why I didn't play Harbinger earlier. That didn't make any sense, did it? I don't think so. Um... Man, these stupid freaking heralds are just terrible. I mean, I could take a silver here. I don't really want a silver. Let's just take a harbinger. I don't think I need two harbingers. I could take a second harbinger. It's fine. Why did I, not I don't know why I didn't play harbinger first there. That didn't make any sense to me. Oh well, what do you do? I guess, like, play better is what you do. Sure. Do I want two harbingers? Not really. My heralds are whiffing a whole lot. Miss, miss, miss. Did I have, like bottom deck two heralds there? I think I bottom deck two heralds there. Um, Harbinger. Yeah, like my heralds are missing much more than expected. Unfortunately. I want a couple of displaces now. All right, that actually hit. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Um, how many displaces do I want? Is two? I think two displaces is enough. I don't know if I want like three displaces in this deck. Three displaces is a little dicey. I mean, I need a dupe anyway, and just not use it. That's probably fine, right? I could take another Bounty Hunter and start thinning Copper a little bit more. I feel like thinning one card per turn is probably enough at this point. Maybe it's not. Maybe I want to thin faster. Second Bounty Hunter is not the worst thing in the world. Um. I could 
take a remodel. Let's go take a remodel here. I could turn like a harbinger into a displace. Um, remodel has some benefits here, doesn't it? I can take the remodel. Just one remodel though. Alright, we're gonna exile you. I'm gonna remodel this estate into a harbinger. No, thank you. I do want two displaces though. I did bond back both my liveries. Jesus. <laughs> I feel like my draws have been pretty bad this game. Or this whole this whole match. They haven't felt great to me, I have to say. Like, getting liveries in play is pretty freaking important for this, this game to work. And he gets both liveries in play. I mean, he doesn't draw through here, but he does get both liveries, which means he gets all the horses, which is really nice. It's interesting on question about how many horses you actually want to top deck. Yep, 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 that's a billion horses. Um, I should have a billion horses, but I don't. Alright, I should be drawing pretty well now, though. I would think Vault. Hmm. I don't think Vault is particularly helpful in this board. Um, okay, that hits. Really? Really? Shoot! <laughs> How? How is this happening? Ah, oh, it's because I didn't get any horses last turn, and so I get two dud cards. I got no horses in my deck. This is all terrible. All terrible. Jeez. All right. I guess I sculpt a silver here. I can't... Like, these draws are just horrendous. I don't want to dupe this, though. Play this livery. <clears throat> Five on... Do I want more displaces in this deck? Man, I can't believe I'm just not drawing. I guess I can take two displaces here comfortably. Ah, fine. Like, it's not just me, right? Like, I'm not imagining that my draws are, are just like really horrific like basically most of the games we're playing here I don't think I'm imagining this I will remember to top deck a Herald this time. Um, yeah, that was really dumb of me that one turn not top decking Herald. That might have actually cost me like half a turn or something. Forgetting to do that. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Like, he's doing the thing I'm trying to do, but he's doing it a lot faster than I am. Um, mostly because he's actually drawing his cards and getting horses out. And I'm just, like, bottom decking my liveries, not getting horses, dead drawing. I mean... I don't know. I'm playing, like, okay, I think, but... Maybe it could be better. Um, at this point, I'm in, in pretty deep trouble, I think. Like, I don't know how I possibly win this game. Yep, 
Yep, he has just all the horses. I want all the horses. Ah, uh, I want so many horses. Do I top deck Harold or do I top deck horse? I think it's Harold. Yeah, this game's looking pretty bad, huh? Like, really, really bad. Okay, top deck the Herald. Herald actually hits things. Awesome. Um, is it Herald here, or is it, like, Livery or something? I guess it's Herald, right? Um, yeah, sure. Nope, Copper. Hits you. You. So I miss all my Liveries again? Because I just drew four Coppers there? <sighs> Son of a bitch. Maybe it was Livery. Must have, maybe Livery was just better there. This is really bad. This is so bad. All right, like I don't have any horses. Where's all my horses? Maybe I do want to vault just for some card draw. No, livery is card draw. To place the remodel into a gold. Pick up um, like another harbinger. This is like this is abysmal. Oh my god, I just dudded. This is abysmal. Ah, oh, this is so bad. All right, maybe I shouldn't have... I guess I should have just taken Livery last turn, right? Instead of the Herald? I guess it was Livery. It must have just been Livery instead of Herald, because I needed to top deck horses. Where's my Herald? I bottom deck my other Herald, right? What do I even do here? <laughs> I have no idea what I do here. Do I, like, bounty hunt the Sculptor? Oh, this is so bad. I haven't played a livery in forever. Wait, is there a horse down there? Or am I, am I like, misremembering? I think it's like Horse Herald down there. So like I bottom decked Horse Herald? Sure I did. Why wouldn't I bottom deck Horse Herald? <laughs> okay, I, what, I don't know what to do at this point. I want to, I don't need the sculptor anymore, right? Sure. I'm just gonna play the livery. I need to get like a billion things here. I'm just gonna take a gold for real. Oh, there's a herald down there? Never mind. I thought I had another herald. Never mind. There was a horse in the bottom there. Maybe two horses. No, there were two horses. I bottom decked both horses. So that means I couldn't tr trigger a shuffle, which means I couldn't play any things. Yeah. All right, this is, um, I mean, I, I know I made a couple some misplays here and there, but I just feel like maybe triggering that shuffle is bad? Top decking hero, I don't know. I'm sure there's things I could have done to, to make my draws better, but jeez. I think I'm ready to just resign here, right? I'll play one more turn, I guess. Like, never getting to play liveries has been really, really, really bad. So maybe I should have just top-decked it? I don't know. It's not completely clear to me. Um. So, can I possibly win this game? I don't see how. I'll play one more turn. Let's see if I draw. But, like, there's... He's almost at half points. If he, maybe one dud's enough? I'm not sure if one dud's enough or not. Oh, cool. I <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, I'll play one livery here first. Play the Herald. And I'm just like, I just stop again? Like, I just died out again? Livery for sure. Sure, we're just doing this. Um, getting the Enclave. Livery, top deck, livery, top deck, livery, top deck. Um, 
I think the top's like the gold. Because I want to displace it. I don't think... Like, one pro... I need him to dud here, because one... How does he dud, though? He top deck like a thousand horses. Yeah, this is just... This is lost. <clears throat> Alright, if he misses province here... I don't think... Even if he duchies, I need, like, the rest of the points on the board. Which doesn't sound super doable to me. Does not sound super doable to me. He sculpts a dupe, which is interesting. Alright, that's like basically half points there. I can resign that. Wait, why is he. Wait, what? Oh, three duchies? That's even better. Yeah, that's half points, right? Alright, cool. That game was. Man. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, it wasn't even a little bit close. It was... I lost by a mile, like, many, many turns I lost by there. That can't be purely luck, can it? I mean, no, it wasn't. I think there are at least two or three points where I could have tried not to, to have a terrible turn. Or try to salvage something at least out of that board. I don't know, whatever, it's fine. 2-2. Two, two. I need to win some games, like, pretty bad. Um, did I play order that one? Right? That was his? Yeah, that was my first. Alright, well, first players won every game, so there's that. Alright, well, let's continue the trend of first player winning. Hey, it's Seal, Wayfarer, Fishing Village Improved, Stone Mason. Alright, there's stuff going on here. Peddler. Um, interesting. So this looks like a bridge mega turn to me. The Stone Masons are important. Um, talk to me. Sorry, the, the fishing villages are important. Seal's kind of neat. Do I open like I guess I open like fishing village improve, right? I don't really feel like hitting five is a huge priority. Getting actions in my deck is pretty good. Um, we the seal. Yeah, I guess it's fishing village improve. That seems fine to me. Double Fishing Village, I guess, is the other option. Um, I can't imagine any other option being useful. Um, is Stone Mason the only trash in here? Wow. Bit slow. Bit, bit slow for sure. But I think Wayfarer Fishing Village draws pretty well, so I'm not super concerned with thinning as much as normal. I, I think this is just improve, right? Like, it turns to a bridge, which is fine. It could also just be bridge, right? Maybe it's just bridge. Oh, is it just bridge? I guess I don't see why I would take improve over bridge. Well, improve can be improved into a peddler, which is kind of neat. But I guess it's just bridge. Fine. I don't, I don't know the ratio of things to do here. Um. 
Hand a card onto my deck. Well, the problem there is I could top deck a fishing village. Doesn't really does anything for me. <coughs> I'm sticking their bridge. Um, this looks like fishing villages. I could take three fishing villages. I stole Mason for fishing village and buy fishing villages. <coughs> um, I don't really want three fish. I mean, the thing I guess. We well, could be still missing for fishing villages by Wayfarer. That's kind of interesting, right? I could actually still missing for fishing villages, still missing for Wayfarer. Oh, that's getting spicy, actually. Don't gain. Well, not the best turn, but whatever. Take another fishing village. Mm. Other wayfarers down there somewhere. He has to do the same trick I just did. Not have minded drawing uh drawing the wayfarer here. Um like this is just a fishing village for me. I don't think it's anything more exciting than that. I guess I could still make some for two fishing villages. That might be better, actually. Just to, like, get all the fishing villages out. I guess I do it like that instead, huh? Okay, well, I guess I could take Fishing Village Wayfarer here, but I also need a Stone Mason. At some point, these Stone Masons aren't helping me anymore, are they? I think it's still fine. Stone Mason for Fishing Wayfarer. So many Stone Masons. I don't want these stupid Stone Masons in my deck. Um... Still fine though, right? I do have three stone masons in my deck. Let's see if we can win like this turn. I don't think win this turn is reasonable, but it's actually um It's actually interesting, because this board is uh maybe I can win this turn. That's a lot of bridges he just took. I mean, always just playing Wayfarer. Don't gain. Um, well, I didn't want to see that for sure. I guess this is like Bridge, Stonemason, Copper, or do I want to top deck some stuff? I don't want to top deck anything here, I don't think. I can kill a Copper. And just buy like Bridge Peddler. Um, alternatively, I just top deck a bunch of peddlers and a wayfarer. Maybe that's better. The problem is I don't have any other bridges in this deck. Like, that's my only bridge. It's actually pretty pretty rough to not have any more bridges. So I could top deck a bridge. I could top deck a bridge, peddler, wayfarer. 
Um, I played one Fishing Village this turn. Maybe Top Deck Bridge Peddler Wayfarer is the play. Oh, I can't do that. I don't have enough, um... I don't have the gains for that. Oh, shoot. Um... I do need to top deck a bridge, though, I'm pretty sure. It could just be Bridge Wayfarer. Let's make sure I actually draw some stuff. Man, I'm like one dud away from losing this game, aren't I? This game can end in a heartbeat. I guess he doesn't have any draw, though. Um, I have like... I'm not just like... <sighs> okay, well... He has no draw, right? He has like no. I have like five wafers. Does he have any wafers? Oh, he has one wafer. Okay. Like, the problem here is. Um, I could just lose this turn if he draws, right? He has a bunch of bridges. If he gets like three bridges down in play, he just wins? Shoot. I don't know what to do here. I could take a duchy. I'm really... Oh, man. This is really bad. Where's all my draw cards when you need them? I guess it's a really messy deck. Or what does he need to win? If he puts, like, three bridges in play... Well, no. Two bridges in play doesn't let him drain... the... the stonemasons. Right? So stonemasons require some extra gains... Three bridges in play only gets him get, like, so many cards. Can he? I guess that's the question I have, right? Is can he um, win if I take a bridge? I don't think taking a bridge here does anything, though, is the problem. Like, I could do t Peddler Wayfarer. Um, yeah, taking a bridge seems really dicey to me. I think a Peddler. It could also just be a Duchy. I could just take a duchy here. Um, I'm not convinced. He can't win this turn, I don't think. So I could take the bridge. Taking the bridge is not unreasonable. I'm not stonemasoning. I don't. I don't want to lower stonemasons any. If I take this, all right. Can he possibly win if I take bridge here? Um, he can get, like, three bridges in play, let's say. He can stonemason for bridge, bridge, stonemason for bridge, wayfarer, stonemason for wayfarer, wayfarer, stonemason, like, he can, he can get eight, he can get eight, coin, eight cards here if he does everything. Three bridges in play basically wins him the game, right? But he can't do better than that, so maybe I just have to, I guess I could salt. Right, the most, the most he can get is eight gains. Um, a fourth bridge doesn't let him do the stuff. So maybe just salting is better than um, other things. Because I only need one point here to, to be okay. I don't really want a duchy. I'm going to salt a province. Alright, he does top deck some stuff. Wayfarer. Don't gain. Wayfarer. Don't gain. I didn't find another bridge. Um, I can't win here, right? I don't think I can just win here. Um, it's a little annoying.
I mean, I'm, always, I'm gonna play this bridge for sure, right? I think. Yeah, I'm always playing this bridge. Um, does Trash and Copper do anything right now? Not really. Could use another bridge. Stone Mason Peddler just does work too. I could also just um It's only two buys is the annoying thing here. Like I could top deck. I could top deck a peddler. Jeez, I don't know how to win this. Um I think I need to take a province here. Take a province, top deck, um, a peddler. That's really stupid, right? I can always mason the peddlers into things though. Like this game is very close to over is the thing. Um, I do need to find wayfarers. I can also just top deck. Wayfarer. I don't know what to do here. Um, piles are so low. I think I need the province here. Top deck peddler province seems like okay. I can probably make that work. Um, the other option is I, I province and I take like stonemasons. I dare him to win. I only have one bridge down there is the problem. <laughs> like, I did not get enough bridges this game. I think I'm only provincing here, right? I know he has a wayfarer. He has the extra fishing village. I'm going to take the province. Um, I mean, I could stonemason for two stonemasons. And I just need to find my bridge and I win. That's not true. I need more than that. Well, like it's just finding a bridge and a stonemason works too. Because we're just dud. But if I stonemason for stonemason, stonemason, there's two of them left. Um, you can only score so many points on me, and I just play for a win next turn. I've got two wayfarers down there. I may not find a wayfarer is the problem. Oh, I'll undo, uh, undo, undo, ah, ah. Right, getting the Wayfarer. And then the Stone Mason does not get top decked. So we just dare him to be able to beat that, I think. I have two bridges here to play. I'm gonna hit province here, which has to make me score to pile out. Oh, he might play three bridges here, which is gonna be. Why is he like considering? Why is he considering not playing a fishing village? It's weird to me. I mean, he has the province, doesn't he? I feel like he, well, province doesn't do all that much actually. The province of state at least ties. I need to find a stonemason for this peddler and I think I can win. I'll need to find a little more terminal space too, I guess. Um, there's only one fishing village. I think I have like two more fishing villages down there. 
If I'm counting correctly, I think we split those by five. This is a really strange board. A very strange board. I don't need much to win, is the thing. I just need like a little bit to win here. Um I think I just need a stone mason. I think I think just stone if I draw stone mason off this wayfarer, I win, right? Like I stone mason the peddler into let's say two wayfarers. I play the bridge and I can drain piles. That seems about right. I really need to win here. Really, really, really need to win here. Come on, just give me like one good draw. Just like this match just needs one good draw in it. I just need one draw this entire match. That's all I'm asking for. Please. Um. Okay, is this a win? No, because I can't get the stupid um. Um, wait, is it a win? Stonemason, bridge, bridge, stonemason, bridge, bridge, stonemason, bridge, wayfarer. Wait, stonemason, bridge, bridge, that's just the wins, right? I think. Um, do I need to do anything else? Oh, let me just, oh, I'm, I know, I'm, like, this should be super easy to count, but I'm just, like, really nervous right now. Okay. Um, I play the fishing village, I play two bridges. I can stonemason for bridge, bridge, and just buy stonemason, stonemason. No, I need to. I need to stonemason for bridge, bridge, stonemason for bridge, bridge. Buy stonemason, right? Which is gonna get me how much does that cost? Three, four, five, six. That costs less than that. Um, I think that works. I play bridge, bridge. And then stonemason for bridge, bridge, and I can play this for a seal, I guess. Stonemason for bridge, bridge. Don't top deck. Stonemason for bridge, wayfarer. Don't top deck. Um, Stonemason. For doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, okay. He needed to score on his last turn more than that, I think. I think he needed to match me in points. <clears throat> Alright, that puts me up 3-2. Um, I sure wouldn't mind breaking this um first player advantage for once this match. What a weird game. I don't know. <coughs> He's the day. Okay. Um, interesting. This looks like... This looks pretty good for Hunting Party Patron, I have to say. It looks pretty good for Hunting Party Patron. Um, seize the day at some point convenient will be nice. I'm not sure if you save the seas here. Like, you could save the seas here um, to threaten, like... A finish. I'm not sure if you save it or not early. <clears throat> so I'm gonna open improve and I don't know. Like improve patron's fine. Um patron transmog is also fine. Like I wouldn't mind getting rid of some estates in this deck. Um the problem with transmog improve is I'm not likely to hit five next shuffle unless I hit transmog turn three. But do I have to play for the high roll? Like I could play for high roll here. Um, patron improve is perfectly fine too, though. I think I want to get rid of estates. I think we will do transmog. 
right? Let's play for it. Play transmog. Like, hitting hunting party early is definitely very solid. Oof. Oof. Oof, I say. Um, all right. This will be, like, buy and improve and turn you into a patron. He hits hunting party right away, and I do miss five. Okay, so I low rolled. Like, I, he hits double five? <sighs> I just... <laughs> Why? Why, game? Why do you hate me so? Double fives? Jesus Christ, that's so good. Um, wow, that's so good. Oh, man. I don't think I win this game, like, ever now. I swear, my other two losses were just, like, complete luck fest, too, aren't they? Jeez. Okay, um... I mean, is this patron or just like another transmog? I think I want one more transmog. And this transmog's not doing anything. That's fine. I'll take the hunting party now. He finds both hunting parties top of the shuffle. Of course he does. Like, this game's over, right? Like, I've lost? I would take wine merchant here, I think. I think wine merchant over hunting party at this point. Yeah, another hunting party's fine, too. But, like, this is just insane. Um, I'll just play you by hunting party. I'm not sure about that transmog there. Okay, this will be, um, hmm. I'm calling it transmog. I don't know into what, though. It's not improve. I'm going to buy, um, maybe just squire. It could just be squire. I need plus buy in this board at some point, right? I think it's just squire. Two actions. Play the improve. Pick up this hunting party. Um... I think I trashed the improve into a patron. I find hunting party right away, which is nice. He finds he finds hunting party. As he didn't, he missed hunting party's last turn, so that's fine. Um, he does need a plus buy at some point, though. He hasn't got any plus buy, which is weird. Okay, like this is another hunting party, right? Um, like what? What is this? I really wanted to find a state here, didn't I? Well, the good news... Yeah, he just... Like, this is just over. Like, he takes three hunting parties. Like, this is insane. I don't... Did I ever have, like, any possibility of winning this game? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe I should have seized last turn. No, what does seize get me? Like, nothing? Like, this is just... I'm just, like, very frustrated by this match. Like, this match is just very frustrating to me. How do I win? Do I need, like, chariot race points? Or, like, a chariot race doesn't do anything. Nothing does anything. Take another patron, I guess. Insane, but I feel like all three of my losses were just like this. Like, not that I, I'm not saying I like played perfectly or anything, but like I feel like all three of my losses were literally just you lose the game. <sighs> How much do I play this out? Like, I don't. Alright, well, we're gonna go a state to chariot race. Nope. Alright, well, play patron, play patron. I want the buys here. Eight. I don't, like, I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I could buy two patrons? I could do patron C's? Um, 
don't see any real benefit to seizing right this second. I don't know why I'm playing this out. Like, there's there's literally no chance of winning, right? Like, it's literally impossible. Um, I'm not sure about milling patron there. Like, surely he would have expected to find the other patron? I don't know. Alright, if he doesn't province here, can I win? Wait, why would he not province here? This is such a dumb freaking game. Maybe he won't province. And he doesn't province, and then I win the game. Let's do it. Don't province. Let me win. <laughs> like, I, I assume he seizes here. Like, this is a really good turn to seize. I need like I need to actually do things to not demote like demote like the promotion's off the table now I think um but like I could literally just demote all right yeah that's fine too I don't know if he needs to risk that like if he does there I just win right like that's a weird that's a weird thing to risk and not take any points off of I have to say like he literally just risked a dud for that like that's really bad for him he should have taken that at some points Oh well, that's I hate everything. I really do. I hate that entire match. All right, well, let's um try not to demote because my next two opponents are probably the two other best opponents in in the division. So yeah, and I'm already down one on the total win count. All right, well, GGS.